Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool personalized photo holder out of wire. So what you're going to need for this project are your tools. You'll need a ruler, tape measure. I'm using a regular size 4x6 photo as the base and I'm using this 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire which is quite soft and easy to work with. So I've cut a four foot piece of wire and I'm starting like 20 inches from one end and I'm going to do a little bend right there 20 inches from the end and we'll just bend this on a bit of an angle here. So we're just going to measure like how far across you want the stand to be. So maybe an inch in from either end. So we're just going to hold that there, move the photo and then bend this up at a right angle. And then we want to make a little lip for the photo to sit in. So we're just going to bend this. You can measure it with the ruler if you want, or you can just eyeball it. It's about a quarter to three eighths of an inch. Now, if you want to hold a picture frame in there, just make this part a little bit thicker, but because I'm just putting the photo in there, it can be pretty simple. So just compare them to make sure they're the same and you can always um, measure them with the ruler if you want. So now we're going to get this and we're going to take this one and just measure how high we want it. So we probably want it a little bit above the photo. So just do that little measurement and we can bend this one across. So we're just going to bend that one across here. And then this one too, we're just going to, we'll do a measurement for this one to make sure they're more or less the same. So it's about four and an eighth, just a little bit higher than the photo. So we're just gonna measure this, about four and an eighth, this one here, and then we're gonna bend that at a bit of a right angle across. So now we have our basic kind of shape for the, uh, the frame to hold it in place. And then what you want to do is actually make sure that's quite even. I'm gonna bend this one to the back because that's going to hold it in place. So make sure it's somewhat even, it doesn't have to be perfect. And we're going to just wind this in place. So I'm actually just going to go around here. So we're just going to bend this around here. Okay. To the back. And you can bend it a couple of times if you want, or just the once is fine. So if we, if we actually bend it around that way once, and make sure it's straight-ish. And then we're going to like adjust this how you want. And then you can actually bend this one around to the back too. That's a little hack that I have to make sure the wires don't slip in play out of place. I bend around one wire and then I bend around the other wire. So it just anchors it in place. So whatever you feel is the best way to get it solid. So that's not going anywhere. So this is the piece that will go to the back for the stand. We could just bring it back here for now. We can adjust it later. And then what you want to do is form a word across here. So you could do someone's name. You could do the word love. You could do it straight across. You can do it sort of above like that if you like. So just to keep it simple, we're just going to bend it in place. This wire is very, very uh, soft. So if you want to use a not so soft wire, you can definitely use a little stiffer wire. So we're going to take this and just start forming the words. And you can see my other tutorials for other ideas for doing lettering and words. And we'll just do the word love very simple with the lower case. And you can give it a little bit of extra here. And we need the O, so we'll get the O going here. You could flip it upside down, bring it across. And I'm just using a round form for the O. We'll just bring it around here. And then we can just go around to do a V. I have another tutorial with the word love for a greeting card, so I can link that up below so it's a little easier to see. It's tricky to stay in camera with this um, 
large piece of wire it's uh, definitely a little bit more tricky so there's the V and then bring that down I'm kind of working upside down flipping it back and forth so that's the V and then the E so we'll get our larger round pliers for the E bring that around perfect and then just form the base of it here so we have the word love and then if you do want to do a little heart we um, we're going to run out of wire so I wouldn't do it right now but you can add like a little heart to uh, would be cute or a bead you can add a bead there's lots of possibilities and then this one I'm just going to bring down and across a little bit you can use your pliers for that or just your hands so there's the word love if you want to make it a little more centered just wiggle that around a little bit so the word is centered and then you want to just wind it around this edge here so we'll take this here and just bring it sort of let's see which way we want to go I think I'll bring it inside and just wrap it a couple of times okay so we're just going to wrap it around a couple of times and to make it sort of look even like the other side and then this you want to stretch it out you can use a cloth to do this kind of like rubbing and then you want just to bring this right to the back because we want to make sure they're the same size so if we bring this wire right to the back and then also this wire right to the back because we want them about the same height okay so then you can measure you know sort of the the height of what you need here and I think I'm going to keep it super simple so I'm just going to do a little loop so we don't have a sharp end and we're just going to bring this and bring it around and then make sure these two are at the same level so that looks pretty good and we'll just cut that so we'll have the end that's not going to be pokey we'll just push that in you could do a little spiral at the back too if you like but it really isn't going to show much so it's probably not super important and then this one here too we want to do a little loop and then compare it see it's a little lower so we're just going to adjust it a bit so it's the same height and same thing cut it flush give it a little cut and just bring it in here and then what you're going to do is you're going to push that to the back a little bit this one too just push it to the back so it'll be more like a stand you can straighten these out it really is not like a, the best best wire but it's good once it's it's because it's not has doesn't have to hold a frame so it doesn't have to be perfect and then if you if you find you know it's not even just stretch these out a little more if you find like wiggle it around if you find one edge is too long you can clip it after and then you're just going to put your photo on there it's hard to see at this angle but there is your little frame with love so thanks so much for watching the video give it a big thumbs up if you liked it be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more diy wire art and jewelry making videos Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share photos of your work, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. I'll link it up below. And if you'd like to check out my work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wire, wedding cake toppers, and funky jewelry. And also, I have a mailing list going, so if you'd like to join my mailing list, I'll mail you my Wire Art Essentials ebook, and that's linked up below too. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you the next time.